Merlin changed into a tiny germ, and the tiny germ carried a rare illness called purple pox, which was very catching. In a flash, the dragon broke out all over in a rash of great purple spots. Once anyone sick with purple pox had to stay in bed for two whole weeks. And so Merlin clearly was the winner of the wizard's duel. Quickly Merlin changed himself and Wart back into people. Sir, Wart asked him after they had put Madame Mim to bed, how did you ever learn such powerfully powerful wizard wizardry? When I was a boy, answered Merlin, whatever I learned, I learned as well as I could. Oh, said Wart in a small voice. Merlin chucked him under the chin. Wart, he said fondly, get back to your lesson. I will, sir, said Wart. Wart, I will. And he did. See? Now we need another book. Another one? Yep. Uh, Go get us another book. What are you doing? Now we need another book. Show him, go oh, show him where they are. No, he's, he's where the small books are. Yeah, no. these, these are all Mickey Mouse right here. Oh. Oh, bring one. Bring one. Oh, I got one. Man. <laughs> Not Mrs. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't skip any pages. Okay. The beginning. Detective Mickey Mouse sat in his office reading mystery stories and waiting for a case. Gee, Pl Pluto, Mickey sighed. Mm -hmm. Gee, Mickey. <laughs> Gee, Pluto, Mickey sighed. Maybe someday there will be a book about me. Mickey Mouse in the case of the... Suddenly there was a knock at the door. Mickey could see a shadow on the other side of the frosted glass. I wonder who that can be, Mickey muttered. The door opened slowly. The visitor stepped inside. Why, you're the famous actress, Lola LaWow, Mickey exclaimed. How sweet of you to recognize me, the actress said. I've come to you because Tutu, my dear sweet poodle, is missing. You must help me find her. She was last seen at my mansion around breakfast time, Miss Ms. LaWow went on. Where, oh, where can she be? We'd better go look for clues, Mickey said. Pluto, you stay here and guard the office. But Pluto was eager to go along and help search for Tutu. Minnie Mouse was watering her garden when she noticed a fancy car coming down the street. Why, there go Mickey and Pluto and Lola the Wow. Humph, Minnie thought. I wonder where they are going in her big fancy car. Minnie decided to follow and see. A few blocks from the mansion, Pluto suddenly started barking and trying to jump out of the car. A big sign at the side of the road. It said, Sassy Sausage Factory, grand opening today. Hmm, mm, those sausages smell good, Minnie said to herself. Mickey Mouse is on this case, said Mickey. Bring in the first sus suspect. In mm -hmm. came Peeves, the butler. The last time I saw her, he said, Tutu was right by this door, whining and scratching to go out. But I don't have time to walk her and clean up the mud she tracks all over the house. Aha, thought Mickey. He doesn't like cleaning up after the two. I bet the butler did it just like in the case of the missing mongers. There's Next, the Mickey wanted to question the chauffeur. chauffeur. The beautiful I complained. Walking tutu is no picnic, he said. Whenever we pass a butcher shop or a hot dog stand, that little dog pulls at the leash until I stop and buy her a treat. This is just like a wow. I've been pulled off. <laughs> Why are you so bad? You want to do your meat and that outside? No, that's what I do. I don't want to do strings off.
sprinkled all over my beautiful flowers. <laughs> so Mickey thought the gardener is angry at two, two, two. They're all in this together. It's just like my favorite story. <laughs> the case of the kooky kidnappers. Just then Pluto sniffed the air excitedly and bolted off through the flower bed. Not again, the gardener moaned. Pluto, Pluto, come back, called Mickey after the disappearing dog. Where is he running off to? Now I've got two dogs to look for. I bet I know where to find both dogs, Minnie said, popping up from behind a bush. Nippers. Oh, Minnie, you know you're the only girl for me, Minnie said. <laughs> Oh, Minnie, you know you're the only girl for me. Follow the trail. Minnie sniffed the air. Ah, oh, she said, saucy. Time for you to get a knife and start carving this guy. Or, or don't there, whatever one Okay, there you go. Now you'll have to read the next one, please. You'll get for depth, then. Well, I can I'm digging five feet below water line now, and then I'm going to raise my five. You know, they're big enough for fish. You get ten foot of water. Nine, I think, is what they figure. Put dark on one side and light on the other, however you want. See how that comes out. Top of that. don't want to run and hide because this is for the next generation. Aaron and Kyle will love these pictures when they're. Gosh, I didn't even get clean and get my hair done. Too bad. <sighs> Next year. When I'm younger. The peas in our garden are merely cooking away, Monty. That's how long they cook. If this gravy boils over, you're going to have a bow. Do you believe anybody trying to make gravy with half of a bowl pump full? Inside. That's a good place to put your hot. Is it hot inside? Or did you say it's not hot inside? Real hot. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't stuff it. See, I put the stuffing separate in that whale. <laughs> Thanksgiving celebration. We'll go back to New York for Bob.